Hi, my name is Carrie Bagnall, founder and executive director of Jungle Friends Primate Sanctuary. We offer a permanent sanctuary home to over 300 New World primates on our 44-acre property in Gainesville, Florida. Our monkeys come from various backgrounds, which include the exotic pet trade, entertainment industry, and laboratory research. Of the monkeys we inherit, some arrive with chronic and debilitating medical conditions, which require specialized care. Today I'm going to share with you some of our best practices in caring for special needs monkeys while sharing their storage, stories. I'll even introduce you to some of our monkey miracles. At Jungle Friends, we specialize in caring for monkeys with special needs, including those suffering from chronic diseases like diabetes and those with physical limitations such as blindness, amputations, and paralysis. Before we get into telling special needs monkey tales, let's talk about our rehabitats. A rehabitat is a handicapped accessible enclosure specially designed for the monkeys with mobility issues or blindness. As you can see in the photos above, the rehabitats include ramps to make climbing easier as well as guide ropes. And they're used for temporary and permanent situations. One of our blind monkeys lives in the top left habitat, so we have ramps that lead to his runways where his food is. They also lead to his water lixit, his outdoor heat cave, and his indoor enclosure. Our elderly and diabetic monkeys all have indoor enclosures. Wendell came to us after he mutilated one of his hands. He was found to be diabetic and thought to have neuropathy. He was and is still on diabetes medications. His diabetes is being successfully controlled. Unfortunately, before he was regulated, he had bitten off a toe and went blind. Wendell lives with Kuda, another capuchin with metabolic bone disease. The two are a model couple. Wendell is one of the sweetest monkeys you'll ever know. Obviously, he has had his share of bad luck, and still, Wendell greets everyone with a smile. Watch this sweet video of Wendell and his friends. Oh, poor uh -huh. screaming Wendell. Wendell lost his sight again a couple days ago. So he's feeling kind of down. But Poochie's taking good care of him. Wendell, careful. That's a good boy. Jersey was kept as a pet in a garage where he had bitten off one of his toes and he was chewing off both of his feet and chewing on his hands. His flesh was literally dying. After calling specialists to locate tissue for skin grafts and help with amputations, there was no luck. The answer from the experts we called was the same, euthanize the monkey. This little monkey was only nine years old and had barely had a chance to live. Fortunately, our vet understands and supports the Jungle Friends monkey care philosophy, and he had another plan. He found a local orthopedic surgeon who agreed to perform the surgery. The veterinarians amputated Jersey's right leg and part of his left foot. Following his recovery from anesthesia, Jersey was already pulling himself up the very same day. This little fighter recuperated like a champ. 
and even made a love connection with Elizabeth, another capuchin, while he was in our on-site clinic recovering, she was also there recovering from an illness. Jersey is very spirited and has overcome his disabilities. He uses his tail as a leg and has no problem negotiating his habitat. Jersey and Elizabeth are a model couple, grooming each other and engaging in outrageous play. In this video, you can see how well Jersey uses his tail in place of his amputated leg. Even though his other leg is still bandaged, you can see how well he's maneuvering himself around. For more videos on Jersey's journey from his very first day at Jungle Friends and his long road to recovery, go to junglefriends.org and type Jersey's journey into the search box. No one is even able to tell that Jersey only has one leg. Jersey's journey is an amazing story of what can happen when you don't give up. Katie arrived at Jungle Friends in 2009 with three other marmosets who had all been used as breeders, having their babies torn from their arms time after time. Fortunately, she found her way to Jungle Friends and for the past several years has been enjoying her lush habitat here in Florida. This past April, Katie began displaying some unusual behaviors and became noticeably lethargic. We knew immediately that something was wrong, so off to the vet she went. Katie was put on a number of medications for her condition and she recuperated very well. Katie continues with milk thistle for her liver and dandelion for her kidneys. At Jungle Friends, our motto is, never give up. We firmly believe in giving every monkey a chance to live a full life with dignity. While some of our monkeys must receive specialized care through the remainder of their lives, others are true miracles. Udi was discovered in a New York City basement, alone, hungry, and helpless. Udi was suffering from severe metabolic bone disease. When he arrived at Jungle Friends, he could not stand or walk. He weighed only four pounds and his little legs were badly bowed. He had disease in his joints, malformed wrists, and a terrible overbite. Udi's stunted growth and bone disease resulted from a poor diet and lack of sunlight. Udi took his first step soon after his arrival at the sanctuary. Before long, he was swinging from the trees and basking in the sun. When Udi's bones grew stronger, he was introduced to other spider monkeys. If you type Animal Rescue Udi in our search box on the website, you'll see when Udi first arrived at Jungle Friends, his vet visit and his recovery on a video there. Udi lives with three other female spider monkeys, his very own harem. And as you can see in the photo on the left, he is king of his jungle, swinging through his spacious habitat, enjoying the company of the other spider monkeys. Luckily for Dylan, he was welcomed into another group of monkeys at Jungle Friends. Monkers, a young adult, took Dylan in as her own. She even carried Dylan on her back and brought him down to us when it was time for his bottle. Dylan enjoys outlandish, rough, and tumble play with his monkey friends. Monkers was four years old when she was rescued from a bankrupt zoo, along with her younger sister, Zumi, a nursing mother, and, and, and her infant, and 20 other capuchins. Watch the documentary called Wild Animal Repo on our website to learn more about that rescue. 
Monkers appointed herself as monkey mom to several youngsters at Jungle Friends, including little Dylan. Monkers carried Dylan on her back until he was nearly her size, grooming and playing with him. It's wonderful to see the loving bond grow between these two monkeys. When he arrived, he could barely lift his head, and now he's just flying around like a monkey with no cares in the world. And even though Dylan and Monkers are different species and have different languages, they communicate very well. Dylan and Monkers share a habitat with Mochi and Zumi, also brown capuchins. However, they're situated next door to two other young white-faced capuchins, Ellie Mae and Frodo, who we plan to introduce Dylan to. Bongo was stolen from his rainforest home and sold into research where he was used in iron toxicity studies. He lived there for nearly two decades, all alone. Fortunately, after the iron toxicity studies ended, Bongo was retired to Jungle Friends Primate Sanctuary. Bongo loves his new home and especially loves his special friend, Casey. Bongo suffered a ruptured disc and suffered from paraplegia. We were told there was no hope by the experts, and again, we were told to euthanize the monkey. But we were not about to give up on Bongo. A rehabitat was constructed. The rehabitat enabled Bongo to pull himself around with the ropes and the ladders, moving him through the habitat and to the lowered feeders and automatic waters. We also cushioned the floor with lots of soft pine straw to cushion any falls. Casey was at his side, nursing him, grooming him, and keeping him clean all day long. She wasn't about to give up on her best friend either. Within several months, Bongo was walking. He's a true miracle monkey. Here's where we first noticed he was paraplegic. You can see how he just drags his feet behind him. And this is sweet Casey grooming Bongo. For nearly 30 years, Casey lived in isolation. Her only friend was her reflection in a mirror. Casey could be found talking to her reflection in the mirror and trying to feed her reflection in the mirror. It was very sad. Until she met Bongo. Casey and, Bo and Bongo became fast friends. She no longer needs the monkey in the mirror. And when Bongo lost the use of his legs, Casey cared for him, groomed him, and stood by him until Bongo got up and walked. We believe a lot of Bongo's recovery was due to Casey's tender, loving care. Casey continues to dote on Bongo. We're not sure how old Bonnie is, but she is elderly. Bonnie is the mother to Bailey, who was born here at Jungle Friends as a result of a failed vasectomy. She's been a great mother, and even though Bailey is all grown up now, she still thinks she needs to protect him. She will rush to his side if she senses trouble, and they both cuddle together at night to sleep. Mother and son are still very close, but they had to be separated when Bonnie had her stroke and during her recovery. But Bailey is in a habitat next door to Bonnie's. Due to Bonnie's advanced age, we plan to introduce her to another lone elderly white-faced female and introduce Bailey to monkeys more near his own age. Right after Bonnie had her stroke, we offered supportive care. Bonnie was given fluids, oxygen therapy, and nursed back to health. We weren't even sure she was going to make it, so we were very shocked at how well she rebounded. She was hand-fed all of her favorite foods until she regained the strength to eat on her own. Bonnie's habitat was modified with ramps to help her climb to her favorite sleeping spots easily and also travel to her food and water. Hey, Bonnie. Good? Hey, good? Yes. You're looking, you're looking so bright. 
Thanks. First thing she took today was the avocado. A plate full of all kinds of goodies. Hi, sweetie. I love you too. I love Bonnie. Oh, you're gonna threaten the dog? I know. You're a good girl. Chi-Chi is an elderly capuchin who went from a circus to a breeder and finally to Jungle Friends, where she's resided for the past 20 years. A few years ago, we noticed a tumor on Chi-Chi's breast. After a biopsy, we discovered that the tumor was malignant. Our vet removed the tumor. However, he told us after the surgery that the tumor had metastasized and was likely in her lymph nodes. The prognosis was not good. She was expe expected to survive for only a few months, but here we are three years later and she's still going strong. Hello everyone, we're very excited today because Dr. Shermer told us that if Chi Chi's incision looks good, and it does, we can release her back into her habitat with her friends. There's old Poochie down there and Wendell's waiting. They probably wonder where Chi Chi is. So we are going to reunite her with her friends. So let's go get Chi Chi. We're gonna get you out of here.
since we have a lot of elderly monkeys at Jungle Friends, and let's face it, none of us are getting any younger, we have hospice care. This is Curry. She arrived at Jungle Friends in October of 2005. She was elderly, she couldn't walk on her own, she also had to be hand fed, and sometimes requi required fluids when she didn't drink enough. She lived in the same building as our male squirrel monkeys who were retired from cocaine research. Curry enjoyed watching the antics of the boys all day long and looked forward to her visits from our care staff who provided physical therapy for her. She lived at Jungle Friends for just over a year until she passed on. Whenever possible, we prefer to leave the monkeys who are in hospice care with their friends. If the monkey dies in the clinic or at the vet, we show their body to their friends and companions for closure. After a necropsy is performed, the monkeys are cremated and ashes are usually sprinkled in the forest at the sanctuary. Hospice affirms life and neither hastens nor postpones death. Thank you for watching. For more information about Jungle Friends, please visit our website, junglefriends.org.